Hello everybody, I am Brad Dino, and we have been in the display business and bale making business for about, bale making for about two years. My son's made displays for four years, starting with 4-H, and then we found out about Dyersville, and other toy shows that had contest. So I finally I finally have decided to make a indoor display and then this summer I will make a outdoor display for Dyersville and other show competitions also. But I decided to make videos to help other people because I always see other people asking where do I get this where do I get that and um, so I may not be the best best videographer and voice person but I'm going to try my best to help you guys out so, what we did now is the basic frame, here I'll work this up, the basic frame is 2x4s for legs, and then I put MDF, I put MDF down, and then we put the 2 inch foam down. The reason I'm doing that is for sturdiness, stability. I mean, in case the youngest one wants to climb on top and get back to the way corner, he won't fall in. So that's why we're doing that. And it's roughly this, this one here. little over three feet three feet by 74 inches and then I have a little L portion it's about 38 inches 38 inches by 30 inches so the next step I'm going to do, and then as you see, I uh, have a structural support for the house, so I had to make a channel around that. Here's all, here's all the stuff that we have for display making. The scenic stuff and the tractors. And here's more stuff. I got silos over here, cattle in a bar, cattle in a thing. We'll go through that as I make the display or display in videos. But now the next thing what I'm going to do. A lot of people don't do it. A lot of people just paint their grass or whatever. I put a brown I will uh, be painting this brown onto the styrofoam so that when I put the glue down for the roads and aesthetic grass, the glue doesn't soak into the styrofoam. I've had better luck. Now the next guy who makes a video or tells somebody how to do it, he may do it different. This is the way I do it and my son does it. So, we are, uh, you know, so that's my next step. We're leaving, we're leaving this loose. I don't adhere because I thought about it. I was gonna adhere it down 
with a liquid nail but I decided that okay I'm gonna make a, a uh, scene for my bales as you can see my workbench is a total disaster but here's more I've got I've got a crap load of uh, paint there's more scenic stuff here's 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 a load here's all my bales I got to start making for the next show there's another work or another shelf that I can use for storage there's a shed that I started for somebody and then we canceled out but I'm gonna still finish it and try and sell it there's a toter home and trailer that I'm working on and finishing so that's my first video and if there's anything that you guys can think of that you want videos made of as I start making this display I will show you guys what to do so okay this is the video for now my next video will be putting the brown down and starting to make roads and figuring out where I want stuff talk to you guys all later if you